Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. Today, I have something pretty incredible to talk with you about coming from the house of Reese Fields. I received three sensational scents from the man himself. Reese has such an incredible brand that I'm a huge fan of. Ever since I saw and experienced the candles from the Seaman collection, I knew this was a very special brand that will stay in my collection. If you haven't seen that review, I will have a link in the description for you. But today, we'll be discussing the opulent stone collection from Reese Fields. I received a black marble vessel and two onyx vessels. We'll get more into the scent details in a moment. I should mention, I did not receive these candles in exchange for a review. I actually got them last year as a pleasant surprise from Reese. I think it was last October when I got them. I'll never forget it because he sent candles that contained my favorite scent notes, jasmine, rose, and bergamot. Incredible gesture that personally correlates to what I enjoy most when it comes to overall scent preference. I'm basically a sucker for anything that contains either of those three notes. Anyways, I had more than enough time to get acquainted with these candles and their scents, and I didn't want to gatekeep them from the channel, so of course, I had to run and tell you about them. If any type of home fragrance turns out to be good, I will more than likely tell you about them. And plus, this is the year of elevation, the year we take our spaces to the next level with home fragrances in terms of great craftsmanship from the brand, the vessel, and the scent. And when I talk about brands that go above and beyond, Reese Fields is an example of exactly that with this enticing smooth DNA their scents have. And I've noticed this through every single scent I've got to experience. Something else I've noticed when it comes to Reese Fields candles, at least for me, is that there's this initial wow factor when I lay eyes on the vessels. And this has been the case ever since I first seen that gorgeous orange hue on the clay vessel from the Seaman collection. I remember thinking that I haven't seen anything quite like it, which is how it got my attention in the first place, which prompted me to act on picking it up. And I can say the same thing for the stone collection vessels as well. Granted, we're only talking about the vessels here, but if you've seen the conversation on the clay collection, then you'll know the scents are just as intriguing. Now, the stone collection has hand-finished vessels, crafted from marble and onyx that are inspired by the minerals of nature, with no two vessels being the same, as you would assume with natural marble and onyx. So it's like you're getting a bit of a custom piece with the unique veining of the stone. I just have to show you the glow the green onyx produces when the candle is lit. You essentially get to see the life of the natural stone with many different layers and veins it has, which in turn adds to an overall elegant burning experience with this elevated warm ambiance. Such a beautiful, inviting look this vessel has. I can confirm the other stones look just as inviting. It just comes down to personal choice and what fits perfectly within, within a certain decor style. If you ask me, any of these vessels will look incredible in any space, but if you want to get specific with it, the black or gray marble vessels will make the perfect look for a rustic or industrial style space. And the white marble or white onyx vessels will make the perfect look for a minimal style space. And any of them will be great for a contemporary space depending on the color palette. Stone can be styled in many different ways. I personally love the feeling natural elements bring to my space. It's something I definitely need to incorporate more of. A great thing to note with these vessels is that the actual candle comes as an 8 ounce insert. So for example, let's just say you want the natural onyx vessel. You aren't stuck to any particular scent for it. You get to pick the scent insert that it comes with. So technically, you're just paying for the vessel once and from there you just have to purchase the inserts of your scent choice, which makes perfect sense. The green onyx is my favorite for its incredible detailed veining. The white onyx also has an amazing minimal look while the candle isn't burning. Oh, but when it's lit, it's almost like the stone comes to life with all of this character and detail within the vessel. And the black marble has this nice classic masculine feel to it, contrasted with white veining which makes it stand out within the space. And with that wow factor, Reese Fields definitely backs it up with top tier quality scents that I'm personally drawn to and will always have in my collection. The insert I paired with the opulent green onyx is the number 7 scent. I think this is my favorite scent from Reese Fields for obvious reasons of course. It contains such an elegant, rich aroma of jasmine. But the other notes in this scent is what makes it so seductive. It has top notes of marigold, carnation, and English pear. The heart notes are the life of this scent, with notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, and elong elong, paired with a warm resinous base of benzoin and amber. Okay, there are a few things to unpack here. I'm going to try my best to explain it. This is a very floral focused candle. As you know, it's jam packed with a lot of different bright floral notes, but it's not the average floral scent that's sometimes overpowering or come off as elderly. 
Believe it or not, this is more like a masculine floral that's very warm and seductive. Which sounds odd now that I'm saying it out loud, but this is a very attractive scent. From the cold throw. It has this deep central scent profile that can come from the note of jasmine or lily of the valley. They have the same scent characteristics. There's also this warm sweetness that may be coming from the amber. Benzoin also carries this warm sweetness to it as well, almost like vanilla. I believe this is my first time coming across the note of carnation used in the scent. I did a little digging and apparently it isn't used much in today's perfumery, but it's supposed to have this spicy clove-like aroma. And I have to say, I'm not smelling any clove or spice from the top notes. Maybe it's drowned out by the other notes in the scent. Let me know if you ever came across the note of carnation used in any type of scent. Nonetheless, this is a really beautiful scent that has a warm masculine feel to it that's also a little sweet. The cold throw is subtle. I wish it were a little stronger than what it is. A little more talkative. It's such a beautiful sensual scent that I wouldn't mind it being on the stronger side, honestly. The hot throw is moderate that comes to life with amplified notes of jasmine, benzoin, and amber. The life of this candle lies within the heart and the bass notes. Again, we'll love for this to be a strong performer, but I'm sure that's just my love for jasmine talking. This would be perfect for a small to medium sized space. Maybe the living room or the bedroom for its warmth that feels inviting. The candle insert is 8 ounces of 100% soy wax so it will provide 55 to 60 hours of burn time roughly. Beautiful scent I hope to have for a while. For the black marble, I paired it with the number 2 scent that has a deep essence of rose. I find this pair to be the perfect match. This marble has a lot of character to it so it needs a scent that can match its energy. And this scent has a robust rose aroma. The top notes features black pepper and clove with mid notes of rose petals, geranium and violet, and a base of rosebuds and gaiac wood. This is a very rosy heavy scent that pretty much takes over this entire scent in its entirety. I mean, it only takes up majority of the scent profile with other notes that also has a rose-like characteristic. Rose petals of course are in the heart notes, but geranium also has a rose ambiance to it and violet also has the same powdery characteristic to it that you tend to get with rose. And in the base there is more rose with rose buds. Now, this does have some spice to it because of the top notes from black pepper and clove, but they quickly disappear because the rose is so dominant. The top notes are fighting for their life in this scent. Lee, I got a big problem, man. This boy's on steroids. He got a head like Barry Bonds. Oh, no. no, come on, man. Ah! The scent has every characteristic that makes rose what it is. It does have that rich, powdery ambiance that you would expect with rose, but this is also romantic in a way as well. This does lean a little more feminine than let's say Asphalt Rose from Madeline, which personally leans more masculine for me. The scent of rose can carry a few different personalities, but overall in this, it's more of a rich, vibrant rose. It's not just a rose note that was used in this, this is a pure rosy scent. It doesn't smell synthetic and it isn't headache inducing. You just have to really enjoy the scent of rose to get the most out of this. It's a romantic scent that makes a great burn for the evening hours. Maybe after a good dinner, retiring to the living room for wine and conversation while Erica Badu vinyl plays on a record player in the background. I am quite infatuated with rose, so I am loving every minute of burning this. It has a more moderate cold throw since the note of rose tend to be on the stronger side, and the hot throw unfolds with a good strong throw with amplified characteristics of rose. Perfect for a small to medium sized space like a living room or bedroom, or have it burning while taking a nice bath, reading or relaxing, listening to music. Rose is such a versatile scent, and this is a great example of it. For the white onyx vessel, I paired it with the number one scent for its herbaceous fresh scent. It's an incredible pairing. Both the vessel and scent reminds me of things that are very fresh and bright. I haven't burned this one a lot because I already have the number one scent from the classic collection. As you can see, I've been having a very good time with it. I was burning this heavy over the summer months last year. It's almost finished, so I'm glad I have a bit of an upgrade waiting for me. I only burned the insert for the luscious B-roll shots. Like I said, this is a very vibrant scent with citrusy top notes of lemon and bergamot, mid notes of fresh mint, basil, and spearmint, blended with the base notes of eucalyptus and jasmine. Gotta love jasmine. From the cold throw, 
I'm getting a beautiful blend of the many fresh notes this scent has. I'm definitely picking up the fresh citrusy top notes and the more I have my nose to this cold throw, the more the scent develops. I start to pick up on the nuances of fresh mint and basil, even down to the base with eucalyptus, providing this overall fresh, bright, herbaceous scent that isn't overpowering. Something I quickly picked up on is the DNA of Reesefield's candles isn't to provide the most powerful performance. I think where this brand shines is providing great, high quality, natural smelling candles that doesn't overwhelm the senses. Every scent I've experienced from Reesefields has much of the same smooth underlying DNA. Very consistent with knowing what to expect and the number one scent is no different. The cold throw is moderate, which I expect with more green herbaceous scents, is going to be a little stronger than your normal candle. I would say the hot throw is on the stronger side. When burning, I get the full development of the scent, picking up on every note mentioned, mainly citrus, basil, and eucalyptus. Jasmine is also in the scent, but I don't pick it up as much. But I'm sure it has something to do with the way the scent is presented. This makes for an amazing any time of day scent. Whether going through a stressful situation, meditating, or just want a more vibrant scent to burn, that's when I usually reach for this especially in warmer weather. I prefer to mainly burn this while I'm working at my desk, but there are times where I just randomly reach for it. I even had this burning while I was taking a shower, and I really loved how it made the space feel. Enclosed with this amazing herbal scent that's amplified because of the steam. My showers usually take 5-10 to 10 minutes, but this made me want to stay in for 12. Well, you know, I'm trying to get out of the shower sooner, and then I ask myself, why? I mean, this is where I want to be. All jokes aside, this is a phenomenal herbal scent that makes a great option when I need something that's soothing and relaxing. Speaking of soothing and relaxing, before I forget, Reese Fields also carry a body wax massage candle and botanical bath soaks. Do with that information as you wish. Dana, get the gravy boat, we can do some things. <laughs> But if you want to go above and beyond for your significant other, on a random night, not even Valentine's Day, just pick a random Thursday for example and just take care of them. Or do it for yourself, make it a self-care night, why not? You deserve it. I have the Beauty Bath Soak that has ingredients of argan seed oil, rosehip powder for antioxidants and vitamin C, E, A, and D, yogurt powder for its rich source of vitamin B that locks in moisture for dry skin, and rose clay that increases circulation in the skin, drawing out toxins. Pour some of this in a hot bath with some flower petals for that extra something something and you'll be good to go. Oh, and throw on some Erica Badu in the background. You can't go wrong. One of two things will happen. Either they'll be very impressed with you or they'll ask, what did you do? 